Despite Belarus' threat, Russian gas flows to Germany. On Monday, Russian gas shipments via a vital pipeline to Germany increased, despite Belarus president's threat to shut off supply to the EU as winter approaches. Last week, Belarusian president Alexander Lukashenko threatened to shut down the Yamal Europe pipeline if further EU penalties over a migrant impasse on the Belarus EU border were imposed. Russia exports natural gas to Europe through Belarus, and the Kremlin does not want supply disruptions. TRNLTTFMC1 European spot gas prices jumped 6.27% to €79.70 per megawatt hour at 11.46 GMT on Monday, as the market remained tight this year due to factors such as low supplies and higher demand after the loosening of COVID-19 lockdowns. To far, the market has been keenly monitoring any possible Russian flow interruptions, since the absence of fresh supplies from Moscow has been a significant factor driving up gas prices. Last week, Gazprom GAZP, MM began restocking its European storage facilities, mostly through Belarus and Ukraine. Blocking gas to Germany might affect relations between Minsk and its main ally Moscow, President Vladimir Putin warned on Saturday. On Monday, inflows into Germany at the Malno metering station near the Polish border reached over 12,454,248 kWh per hour, according to statistics from German network operator Gascade. Gazprom owns the gas transport infrastructure in Belarus. According to Monday's monthly auction results, Gazprom has not reserved any extra gas transit capacity through Ukraine or Poland for December. While Gazprom usually ignores monthly auctions, it sometimes books transit capacity in daily auctions in response to new client demands. Russia says additional gas might come to Europe after Germany approves its Nord Stream 2 project. Since Ukraine and Moscow have had a history of disagreements over gas price, Nord Stream 2 is intended to circumvent Ukraine. A threat by Lukashenko to suspend gas supplies will not result in Russia moving flows away from Belarus towards the Nord Stream 2 once it is in operation, according to the Kremlin on Monday.